like I change the Q R E within per minute to Q uh, four pi. Yeah. And like doesn't work. Okay, so a revolving beacon is situated 925 from a straight torus. So this is very similar to the example four that we did, right? Yeah. Here's the beacon. Uh, that's a brutal straight line. Let's try that again. Okay, so 925. It turns at two revolutions per minute. So if we're talking about our theta here, that's theta prime. Uh, two revolutions would be 4 pi per minute. Yeah. Is that what you tried? Yeah. Okay, so how fast does the beam sweep along the shore? So it's shining on the shore. How fast is this? Let's say this is x. So what is x prime? That's the rate of change of you know the shadow. What's the rate of change of the shadow? At the point, the instant in this question, uh, the point where, um, so let's say this is r and this is s. So at s equals 12.75. Is that right? Fast to the shorter point. Yeah. Okay, so this is how we set up this question. Are you, are you with me there? So this is at, I'll just put this over here, 1275. Okay, that comes later. We good so far? Yeah, I kind of confused with number 8. So yeah, I, I think I get number 10. Okay, but someone else asked about number 10, right? Yeah, I, no, I, I just. <coughs> Okay, so just like uh, example number four, uh, what relates theta and x? Well, this is opposite side, this is adjacent side, so what is that? That's toa, so that's tangent of theta equals x over 925. So 925 times tan theta equals x. So this is the equation that relates the two related rates, theta are the two variables in the related rates, theta and x. This is the equation from the graph because this is a point that's nearest the beacon, so that's a 90 degree there. We have a right triangle, we can use the trig functions to show our relationships. Okay, so then you take the derivative, both sides, so 925 is a constant, you can just leave that out front, we'll focus on this. What's the derivative of tan? That is secant squared, secant squared theta. Chain rule because we're taking the derivative with respect to time. So we have to multiply by theta prime. And then over here, the derivative of x with respect to time is x prime. Okay, so from here, um, this we're given. This we're trying to find out. That's good. We're not given theta, but we know that we can solve for theta at the instant that we're asked about in the question. So if you think about this, we have a right triangle. This is 925. This is 1275. So I could, in a right triangle, calculate what theta is using one of the trig functions. So again, we have tan of theta equals 1275 over 925. And theta then, you get on your calculator and make sure that your calculator is in radians. So I'm in radians here, that's good. And then what you wanna do is second function tan uh, and then plug that number in. So 12.75 divided by 9.25 and then you're going to get uh, 0.943 0.943166 that's the value for theta. So in radians, right, that's the value for theta at that instant. So again, this whole thing, we're talking about what is the rate of change of the shadow here how is it moving across the shoreline at the instant where this is true and this is true. So that means this must be true as well. That's the value that goes in here when we're talking about that specific instant. So now it's easy, 925 times uh, secant squared of 0.943166 times the given rate of change of theta from the question, which is <coughs> 4 pi, and that's going to equal our rate of change of x. Now the only other tricky thing that I've already talked to somebody about here, secant squared, that is not on your calculator and don't do second function cos, that's not secant, it's not second function cos, it's one over cos, so really this is what you're maybe evaluating on your calculator, right? Cos squared of this. 
So take 1 over cos squared is secant squared. And then when you evaluate that out in your calculator, make sure it's on radians. Uh, what is the, uh, what's the answer that you guys got, those of you that did? 33708.44009. Oh, okay, I think I got all that. 33708.4. Four. Yeah. Okay, and in the question, um, what are the units involved? Uh, we're talking about meters, we're talking about per minute. So if we're talking about uh, X changing, that's going to be X, obviously, in meters, right? And then the time is minutes we're talking about, so that's, that's this many meters per minute. Does that sound about right? 33708.44, is that what you got? Mm -hmm. Is that confirmed at the back of the book there? Is that what this equals? Take a moment just to confirm that. But if that is the correct number, then that's, the, uh, that's how you do that question. All right, so the point was made that the question also asks for this part right here. How fast is the beam sweep along the shore at its nearest point? Okay, so we've calculated this one at 1275. So we can use the same formula um, or the same sort of equation, but what is, and so if we go back here, what is the angle theta? Zero. Zero, yeah. What is, uh, what else do we need to know? Um, I guess nothing else. This is the same, right? Uh, but angle theta is not our calculated 0.94 because that's associated with this one. So at its nearest point, theta would then be zero. Okay? Because that means, you see, the, the theta is not this anymore. It's now at its nearest point, it's zero. So you would, um, this would be zero then. And then you would calculate. So we'd have 925 times uh, 4 pi over cos squared of 0. What's, uh, what's cos of 0? Right. Remember, remember cos, the cos graph? So cos of 0 degrees, cos of 0 radians, that's 1. So it's, then it's just, um, um, four, what's that, uh, three, six, 460 pi? Okay, and whatever that turns out to be as a decimal. Uh, I did it like 